Hey y'all, I had to make myself a meal before I even sat down and record. I was hungry. Mm. I'm gonna finish eating, then I'll be back with the video. All right, it's Kyla Denango. I'm finally here with my YouTube corner set up. Excuse me eating in the first clip of the video, but I was hungry. I was really, really hungry. But that was a good segue into today's video, which is all about a meal delivery kit that I started using that's plant-based, which is called Purple Carrot. So let's get into why I decided to sign up for Purple Carrot, some of the pros and cons of Purple Carrot, and how I feel about the meals that I've been receiving. So let's talk about Purple Carrot. So when my doctor told me that I needed to switch to a low fat diet, she also told me that I was pre-diabetic and needed to change a lot of my eating habits. So I had a long talk in the mirror and I said to myself, I like easy food. I will grab something and eat it because it's quick. That ends up being hot dogs, frozen sandwiches, frozen burritos, fruit, couple of vegetables. On the weekends, my husband and I like to spend our times and we like to cook, but even with that, spaghetti, sausage, all, all of these things, right? I started looking into what it meant to have high cholesterol. I'll tag that video here because I do talk all about that. And because of that, I was like, I need to change a lot of things. So the first thing I did was I signed up for a meal delivery kit. That is because I need easy. I need something that when I'm hungry, when my daughter is frustrated or screaming or playing and we just got to eat and keep it moving, I need to pick something easy. I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I'm not going to be embarrassed. I need easy. So I signed up for Purple Carrot. Now Purple Carrot is a plant-based meal delivery kit and it has already changed a lot of the things that I eat, right? Do I enjoy mac and cheese? Yes. Would I enjoy cauliflower macaroni and cheese with just the cashew sauce? I've never had it, but I'll try it. And you know what? It's delicious. Served with truffled mushrooms. Yes. <laughs> very filling, very delicious. My daughter even eats it. So, okay, that one works. Let's see, what else would I check? Would I eat a three bean salad with barbecue sweet potatoes? Doesn't sound terrible let's try it and this one you get to eat cold and they're like wait 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 before you reach for the microwave serve this cold because it comes with quinoa and this vinaigrette it's already mixed up peel the, the wrapper back and just start eating easy right the most work you have to do is refrigerate this one so i like to eat the quinoa and beans and then heat up the barbecue sweet potatoes and eat them when they're warm listen does it taste like pulled pork? No. Is it supposed to taste like barbecue pork? No. It is spicy, smoky, barbecue, sweet potato pieces, and it is filling, and it is delicious. And what cravings? What am I thinking about the rest of the day? Nothing. My belly's full. <laughs> okay? And just to let you know, I've been eating with purple carrot for the last four weeks. So let's get into the pros and cons of Purple Carrot. The first pro is that you can sign up for prepared meals and they also have a meal kit. The prepared meals already come assembled, already come seasoned, all of it. You just have to peel back the wrapper and either eat it if it's a chilled meal or microwave it for two minutes. Easy peasy. The first con is that I have not eaten a lot of plant-based meals. So the descriptions were really not telling me what to expect. So I would choose something that said cabbage orange bowl, cabbage orange like protein bowl. And then I get it and it's Satan, S-E-I-T-A-N that is like wheat and gluten and it's mixed up and it gives you the chew of eating meat. But it was basically orange chicken that you would get from a Chinese restaurant. Or there's another one that I really like and it's called the mixed veggies with Raz El Hanout chickpeas. I don't know what those flavors are supposed to taste like. So I appreciate the true descriptions, but for me it was a con because I would have rather it just said Middle Eastern flavored chickpeas or Moroccan chickpeas and there's probably a reason why they could not do that. I get it. 
Um, but I also spend a lot of time on Google looking these up like Raz El Hanout, what is this flavor profile? What am I to expect when it comes in? There's a lot of tofu meals that I don't even put in my cart because I've never had tofu. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So that is a con for me because I just don't know what I don't know. The next pro is the price. So the prices are typically around $12, $12.99, something like that per meal. And that is affordable to me because the meals are massive. I typically eat half of the meals. I try to eat a full meal and unless I share it with my daughter, I just really cannot. I do not enjoy being full for five hours. If I'm eating cashew, cauliflower, macaroni, yeah. <laughs> I'm full. One of the meals comes with braised kale with white beans. Listen to me. You could easily eat that and be full for eight hours. I don't know if that's the point. I don't want to be full for eight. I don't. I don't want to be full for eight hours. I typically eat half of the meals. So that for me is a pro. The price $12.99, $12.50 for two servings of food excellent for me. That's definitely a pro. One of the cons is that I wasted a few of the meals because I was not expecting them to be so large and so filling. So when I first signed up, I was getting eight meals delivered a week. I was like, that's great. I have one meal every day, an extra four bonus. I couldn't eat that many. I could not. I had to cut it down to six meals a week. And the six meals a week is perfect. Like absolutely perfect because have one for every day. If I end up craving one and missing one on one day, that's a good thing. Pro, these meals do not come frozen. They are prepared at the Purple Carrot Warehouse, sealed, shipped to you, refrigerated. So you only have to heat them up for two minutes, let the heat distribute in the container for two minutes and then you're able to eat it. One of the cons is that I just said I had to discard a couple of the meals because they have a Best Buy sticker on them, which is typically about four or five days out. So, I mean, would you get sick eating black beans that have been there three days late? Probably not, but depending on what some of the meals are, you do really have to eat it as fresh and as close to the delivery date as you can get it. I don't have any more pros and cons, but I do have a tip. So I like my food hot 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 too hot to eat so I will heat up my food according to the instructions and then I put them on a plate especially if I'm trying to feel fancy and like I have a real prepared meal here and then I'll heat it up again for another minute minute and a half because again I like my food too hot to eat I can't explain it just go with it so how do I feel about using purple carrot I have lost my earring this is real life here folks so how do I feel about using purple carrot? I'm really enjoying the meals. I'm really enjoying switching them up. Let me get one of each to just see, except for the tofu stuff, just wasn't sure yet. And then I was like, oh, now I have some favorites. Let me add more of the favorites and then one other new thing. So I'm really enjoying the variety and then switch to just getting a different one every day because since I'm only eating one of them a day, it's really nice to just have something new, right? Like I'm in the fridge, like, do I want this? Do I want this? Do I want this? That part I really enjoy. So I will say this one thing, and it's again, not a pro or a con, but that is make sure whatever you eat falls into your dietary goals. I am following a low fat and low processed sugar goal. A few of the meals have really high fat content, but I'm eating macaroni that's tossed in ground up cashews, nuts, almonds, pistachios, all of those things have high fat content. So is fat something that I should be avoiding or saturated fat something I should be avoiding? And for me, saturated fat is something I should be avoiding, right? So I'm really enjoying purple carrot and I'm really proud that I found it and I'm proud that I'm able to get those plant-based meals in because some days I eat a plant-based meal and I have a smoothie. Mm -hmm. I'm fancy and I'm following all the rules and that really feels good. So please leave a comment. Let me know if you have ever tried a plant-based meal, if you've ever tried a meal delivery kit, if you've tried a prepared meal kit. Let me know all of the things because I know I'm not the only one out here, but listen, we are busy, times are strange, times are weird, and if receiving prepared meals is something that will make your life easier, 
please consider purple carrot it's excellent and i will see you next time i can't wait to give you another update on health at 38 talk to you later